welcome back to another My Lure Box video. Today's video is a little bit different and I wasn't 100% sure whether to post it or not, but I think there's a lesson in it for all of us as fishermen about keeping an open mind and um, just letting the session go where you want it to. Hopefully I've captured some of the fish that I've caught in this session and it's on the video, but um, things went a little bit uh, differently than I'd planned this morning. I was going to chase mangrove jack um, hard out chasing jacks with the start of just getting some flathead early on the bottom flats down the bottom of this system but uh, as you'll see what happens in the sessions a little bit different and I didn't capture all of it but hopefully I've caught enough of it so you can understand um, yeah I think it's just important that we keep an open mind when we're out fishing and if an opportunity comes up um, you can get a lot out of it which I definitely have today so um, Hopefully you enjoy this video. There's a lot more videos coming and um, a lot more lure reviews coming. So uh, let me know what you think at the end of it and I'll see you soon. Yes, mate. Yes, People have on us or certain substances have on our metabolism. We must be careful what we ingest. System and become a stimulus. Like all good teachers, the old blacks coaches are students. Get up every day and be the best you can be, he said. Be the best in the world. Give your all for every second of every minute of the seven games you'll play. You can do no more than that. Guys, never let the music die in you. this video we're going to be chasing mangrove jack hopefully some bigger models I've been catching some nice fish in and around the natural structure of late but this morning I've come up to a different area of the coast that I don't usually fish these days and we're going to chase a bigger fish I've got my swim baiting set up in here I've got my plastics I've got uh, diving lures poppers what else have I got? Skip casting gear. I've fully loaded with all the stuff I need to get it done this morning. And uh, that's how I'm going to focus on this session is just to get after these jacks first, pretty much. Uh, I've got flathead gear in and at the top of the tide, we might chase some on the shallows. We've got the last of the run out now. Well, we've probably got two hours left in the run out, judging by how it's ripping past 
it's ripping past this um, marker here. So we're gonna push up into one of these creeks and then um, hit the canals as well and hopefully we can get ourselves a big mangrove jack. Oh mate, the sting, the sting of just getting smaller fish around this natural cover's got to me. As much as I love the natural stuff, it's time to get in and around the canals I reckon and some built stuff and, and try and get a bigger fish. It's a howling wind this morning and there's rain predicted. Um, so we're gonna try and get it done as soon as we can. The, the sun's not quite up yet. It's about 5 a.m. I reckon. I got up at 3.30 again this morning, stupid. Just to try and get out here for this early bite. So uh, there's a corner here I wanna throw for a big flatty with a slapsticks. And then after that, it's game on for the jacks. Let's do it. This looks like a prime little flatty spot. There's a drain just filtering out now. It's sort of the last little bit of it. There was, a, there was a crane sitting on it, which for me is just such a good sign. If there's any birds sort of hanging around, then they're so calculated with the way they prey on bait that I'm happy with that. I'm going to fish this for a little bit. I reckon there's a flood in this. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, that's the fish. Not too bad either. Feels decent. Oh, I dropped it. Oh, it was a good one. It's munted up my plastic too. Jeez, that didn't take long. Right on that little drain. It was swimming out to me. Bugger. pay so much attention to these birds, eh? I just, especially, it's real, flathead fishing sort of taught me a lot more about it, to be honest with you, because they tend to sort of patrol the flats a lot more, it's more obvious to see it out on these sand flats where these big fish are, and the, if, if it's good enough for a bird, it's good enough for a big flatty, eh? swimming out to me that's why I, I dropped him eh? he came straight out at the boat so I didn't have the right a, a decent hook set I think it was facing me the water's like really dirty because it's the last of the tide so I couldn't see but he's probably facing me with his mouth open and that's why my pressure's just pulled the fish on pulled the hooks on it <sighs> Give you a look at the at the drain, eh? Because it's just it's money. When you look at it, it's like perfect. It's just starting to think maybe I'm a bit late for it, but if there's any water pouring out of it, it's just got to have a hit at it. Look at that. I don't want to spend too much time here. I'm, I'm hard out. I want to get some mangrove jack today, or one mangrove jack today. So I don't want to spend too long here, but I can't go past these drains, eh? They're just such good, such good little pickup points for a decent flathead. stuff right out of that little drain there you will not believe this it was right up in that tiny 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 little pocket look at that awesome 
It's only a small flatty, but who cares? When it's a textbook like that, straight out of a drain, where there's like no room for it. God, that's cool. Literally like came back to it because I was like, nah, you didn't get right in there. And I, I cast where I thought maybe a jack would be, where there's enough water for it. I thought, no, nah, get right in there where it's actually like carnage, real shallow, and where the bait's gonna be sitting, and sure enough, boom. You like that deep? So sick. Oh, how are you, mate? Mate, so funny because I come past this, I just come past us like, oh my god, I got a sick yak, tinny, awesome boat. Right, right. Just putting a frame in and oh, wow. And, and Drouse is my yeah. name. How are you, mate? John. Yeah, Jeez. I've, yeah. I've seen some of your talks up, you know, Tackle World. Oh, and, right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, the classic, yeah. flat oh, classic, of yeah. course, yeah. yeah. I'm still out to get a jack. Are you? I've, never, I've only caught two here. Okay. Yeah. Because sometimes uh, I used to work away a lot uh, yeah. on, the, on the Great Bear Reef and it's a oh, green wow. zone, so I can't fish there. So yeah. I come home, catch a livey, put a rod out, put a little alarm on, and then I go and say hello to the missus, and the yeah. bell goes off, and shit. So I caught two jacks that way, but okay. it doesn't count. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, yeah. So, good. yeah, just spending yeah. a bit more time at home. Shit. Yeah, good, good. <laughs> wow, mate, awesome. <laughs> just like, and, and, now, get and, and I see up. you now going on jet skis offshore. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. How's that going, all right? It's great, a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, and, and like I've never really fished for bigger fish, but I love going out there. It's a bit, you just feel so free out on a ski. Um, and yeah, I haven't. I haven't really landed a big one yet. I lost a big one the other day. Just I couldn't stop it. You know, like it's just a completely different level of flying class and everything. For well, me, they so. just had the um, game fishing. Uh, right, one. I saw that. Good like, to see you come I, down, I, mate. I, say good day. Yeah, funny. I'd like to go out fishing with you one day. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's just, just yeah. You always learn, as, yeah. you, as you know. Yeah. Yeah. I used to live in Fiji, so I did a lot of game fishing there. Oh yeah, so yeah, yeah. That's yeah. big stuff. Yeah. But this. What stuff are you doing is, now? Do you want to come out for half an hour now? Just yeah, get, yeah. Right. Try it you on. Know, I'll get the cameras out of the road and we'll do it. <laughs> Mate, so funny. I think it's Andreas. He's just he's he's waved me down out of his house. He's, I think he was lying in bed. He's got up. He's come down and uh, we're having a chat. Now we're going fishing for a bit. So I've literally just drifted past his past his house. He's got his kayak here, his tinny, and um, oh, some awesome setups. But anyway. Uh, I'm not going to film because I've, I've only just met the bloke, but he's going to jump on the boat and we're going to go fishing and I'll just film from my chest. And if we get one, uh, a bit of madness. So I'm going to have to make room now. I'm going to put a bit of the camera gear away and um, make some room so we can have a fish together. Well, along all this stuff with a little plastic, that's my favourite by far, is to skip it along and just try and get it as deep in as you can sort of thing. Sometimes they spook each other though, those mullet, don't they? And usually the jacks are in that back, like the, the shallower section oh, where it's, it's right, right there. Yeah. So the, like the barra sort of sit off further, yeah. but the jacks, I usually get them in the back corner. Oh, yeah, so they'd be shitting in the shady little spot there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, more like those where there's those logs there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right up in there. It hit me just like a jack. I thought it was a jack and I, I screamed, it's Andreas, isn't it? Yeah. I screamed at Andreas, I'm like, Jack! And I thought we had it, but uh, it's under 40. But it's a fish all the same, so uh, a bit of good karma for bringing you out, I reckon, mate. Oh, 100%. Yeah. And you hit like a Jack, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty exciting. All right, I'll get it back in, but uh, no Jacks yet. Still going for a Jack. Maybe later. The day's getting away from us a bit, too. It's getting later. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, thanks again for letting me come on board, mate. I'm oh, mate, isn't it, isn't it funny that we're just like, oh, well, let's go now. 
I was like, there's going to be no better time for me. <laughs> We're here right now, as long as you don't mind getting changed. Fishing, you name it. Well, you could have come out in your pyjamas, I didn't care. <laughs> this has ended up being a completely different session than I'd planned on because uh, I ran into a bloke on the bank, complete stranger, but Andreas had watched my videos for the last couple of years and uh, he ran down onto his pontoon and we started having a chat and he said, look, I'd, one day I'd love to come out fishing with you. I said, mate, how's right now sound? And he ran up, got changed um, and came down with a rod and we just went fishing for about an hour and a half. I didn't film really any of it, um, just because it's probably the, not, the, the way to do things is not to film someone when they're fresh on a boat but um, yeah awesome awesome to catch up with with someone who's got a passion around the water and um, Andreas and I just fished for about an hour and a half together and oh he's got an amazing history about fishing and, and uh, life out in Fiji and traveling the world in the hospitality industry but one of the big surprises was he spent years in Austria and he's got an Austrian passport and I played football in Austria when I was a boy and one of my favourite memories from the place was this oil, this pumpkin seed oil that they had on absolutely everything over there and I never knew what it was until he, he explained it to me and he had some and he's just given me a canister of this beautiful pumpkin seed oil that I've forever been trying to remember what the hell it was. Um, but yeah, he's, he's a chef as well, so he's, he's given me the tip on how to use this oil. So amazing, the things that happen when you're on the water and um, open to open-minded open about everything, I suppose. Um, but Andreas, if you're watching, mate, good on you for coming down and saying g'day. I get the feeling like this might not be the last time that something like this happens now, which is pretty exciting, I suppose. Um, but yeah, not the, not the session that I'd sort of planned on, but fantastic all the same. Um, Hopefully there's enough fishing footage in here to, to whet your appetite to get you, get you out if you're watching this for a, a bit of fishing froth and you want to get out and get excited for a fish. Um, I'll definitely get some more fishing videos going in the next couple of weeks. I'm producing heaps of content at the moment because I'm on school holidays. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. There's more coming and uh, so I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.